track storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Well, welcome back everyone. It is a Friday, but it is a dreary one. Hey, but it's still feeling quite nice outside. Even if you got a little bit of the rain coming down and a little of the fog, temperatures are already near 40 degrees for a lot of us, for some of us well into the 40s. We'll touch on temperatures here in a moment. I did want to show our quad boxes here to show off how things are looking in all of our cities, or at least a good majority of them. It's not too bad, but if you look a little further out, that's where we're starting to see more of these low hanging clouds. The biggest reason why I'm showing this is because it is another big travel day. If you have plans to go around the region, you're going to be running into some fog, no doubt, unless you are headed more so to the southeast. St. Cloud right now, zero miles of visibility. We are under half a mile of visibility in Duluth at a half a mile in Sioux City. And look at Des Moines, even affected there, 2.5 miles of visibility. We just saw Bemidji, it shifted now 1.3 miles of visibility, but locally we're doing pretty good. I must say when it comes to travel delays, this may be a little dramatic with the pink showing up for major. What it's showing us though is that you could run into some delays, not just by car, but by plane. If you're traveling through some of these foggier spots as of right now, and this fog is looking to continue here as we get into the evening. So add some extra time, especially if you're driving to some of these foggier areas again, further to the south, to the north, even a bit to the west and the east and you should be a-okay. Now, what does that look like on a more national scale? Well, if you're taking planes or say driving long distances, places like Phoenix getting a little bit of that rain right now, you can see a little further on to the Northwest there, dealing with some potential delays and even portions of Chicago and moving into Detroit, you could see maybe some minor delays possible. Most of that due in part to the rain. All right, moving on to the current temperatures back locally. And as I said, some of us already well into the forties, including Austin currently at 46 degrees alongside Charles City. It's only 39 in Rochester, but give it another hour and I bet we easily see that pop into the 40s. 45 in Albert Lee, 43 in Mason City. Ultimately today temperatures well above the norm. Not surprising. We've got that surge of moisture, surge of warmth coming in from the south. And yes, we'll stay cloudy as we come into the evening. But look at this by midnight here. We're still in the 40s and it's going to be staying fairly steady coming into what's going to be 50s by Saturday. Moving on to satellite and radar, and that is where we're seeing some of the nuisance drizzle, a little bit of some light showers moving through. That's all we're going to be facing here for the rest of today. It's a little bit more of a soaker further on to the southeast right now, but that's continuing to move this way. That's not the one I'm watching anymore. No, no, no. I'm keeping my eyes over here to the west coast. This low spinning there is going to continue building as it heads towards us. And as it does, it brings good portion of the country a chance for some snow and rain. We're going to be on the rainier side of that. Sky Tracker 3 doesn't go quite out as far to pick up on that. We're just going to go over the next couple hours here coming into this evening. As I said, a lot of the rain is going to be passing just to our southeast. And we'll be staying on the cloudy side with more of these winds coming in from the south. And here on the seven day forecast where the weekend is always in view, southern winds, moisture, that is what's such setting the stage for this warm weekend, Nick. And yes, we are still looking to break records with that 53 on Christmas Eve. It does come with that price rain. We're looking at around one to two or more inches. Wow. Yeah, quite a bit. Incredible. We need it though. We certainly do. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Well, new on midday.